today we will talk about dredging now dredging means to increase the depth of water increase the depth of water in a channel so if this is your chart and you have a channel here which has a depth of let's say 10 meters if you want to increase the depth you can do dredging and you can increase the depth to 11 or 12 meters whatever so in a dredger there are two types of dredgers one is the old type which has scraps and the other is a new type which has sucks pipes in which vacuum is created suction pipes so in both the cases if this is the dredger you can lower the grabs from the sides of the dredger and increase the depth for example if this is your cross section new starboard side main deck port side water line port side so you can lower the grab from here down to the seabed this is the seabed and take out the mud from here and if this is the depth initial depth 10 meters and you increase you take out mud from 1 meter you will get a new depth of 11 meters so the other type of uh, dred dredger is the suction where they lower the pipes to the seabed create vacuum inside the pipes and the mud is along with the water is sucked inside so whatever you take out sand or mud that is known as spoil so all that spoil is transferred to the empty tanks and later this dredger goes 5 or 10 miles away from the channel to dump the spoil which is, it has collected in the chart away from the port 5 or 10 miles you might be finding somewhere where it's marked spoil ground so this is the area where he will dump his spoil so ships should keep clear of this area because normally it will have shallow water this is about dredging now let's do one more topic and that is the windward side of the ship which is normally rough but in one case the windward side can have calm sea also so let's see the windward side of the ship the sea next to the ship will be calm only if you have two or three you satisfy two or three conditions one is the ship should be stopped it should be drifting stopped and drifting and the second condition is it should have a beam bit from the beam and also current from the beam same side as the wind for example if this ship is facing north that is the heading of the ship gyro course north and you have wind from the starboard side of the ship let's say wind force 5 and also you have current in the same direction from the starboard side strong current let's say 2 or 3 knots let's say 3 knots so now if there is zero current you will have rough sea all over next to the ship as well as far off the ship and on the other side the lee side you will have calm sea here next to the ship and then rough sea because in that case, if this is your ship, starboard side, port side, wind is from the starboard, so you will have rough sea here. And this wind, when it comes here, goes down, you will have rough sea here. But next to the ship, let's say 20, 30 meters, let's say 25 meters, whatever, you will have calm sea. So this is the leeward side. But if you have the current also, from the same direction, like wind is, Easterly, 
current is taking you from east, east to west, current is westerly. So what will happen? <coughs> the stick will start moving towards the west at a speed of 3 knots. GPS speed, 3 knots, GPS course, west. And you will have calm sea here because initially the sea will be rough when the current is zero, but when you have current, strong current 3 knots, the ship starts moving and after one or two minutes the ship comes here and then this part of the sea becomes calm. Now to, for this part of the sea to become rough, it will take one or two minutes, the wind will come here. By the time the ship has moved more towards the west, again you have calm sea. And here you will have rough sea all the time. Because ship is moving continuously to the west. So like if there is zero current, you will have calm sea here initially, but as the ship moves, this calm sea, the ship comes here and you have rough sea here. So here on the leeward side, you will have always the rough sea and on the starboard side, windward side, next to the ship, 20-30 meters, you will have calm sea. So if a boat has to come alongside the ship in this condition when the ship is moving, let's say towards the west, she should come on the starboard side. Starboard side will be calm. 